everyone, and welcome to Tipsy Gaming, where we start with a cocktail and then we get our game on. Today we're going to leave the Shadowlands for the Pandalands, starting with a cocktail based on the in-game beverage Pandaren Plum Wine, using the recipe from the official WoW cookbook. Once we have that in hand, we are going to appropriately go get the Legend of the Brewfather's achievement, which is super quick, super easy. You can do it while you're waiting for a dungeon queue. Or if you want to challenge yourself and see if you can get it done before your raid break is over. It took me longer to get this all set up than it will to get the achievement. That's the panda plan for the day. Plan? Planda? Anyway, welcome to Tipsy Gaming! <laughs> Quick reminder before we get started, I am streaming on Twitch Sundays at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time and would love it if you would stop by and say hello. Also, if you want to skip the cocktail and just go straight to the achievement, check the timestamp below. To make the Pandaren Plum Wine, we start with a cocktail shaker with ice in it. Add one and a half ounces of sake, one and a half ounces of orange liqueur, and one tablespoon of plum jam. I thought that the plum jam would be a lot harder to find, but turns out, stay your brothers, two bucks. Who knew? Sorry, there was some cat interference there. Where were we? Right, so sake, orange liqueur, and plum jam. Shake it up. I wanna shake it a little extra just to make sure that the plum jam gets incorporated smoothly. The recipe instructs you to give it a few brisk shakes, done. Then strain evenly into two delicate glasses. I may have thought this was for one serving. I'll be right back. Two delicate glasses. Now, if your glasses aren't delicate, well, I don't know. I, I can't help you with that. <gasps> oh, that's a pretty color. And I'm actually surprised at how well the plum jam uh, mixed in. I was really nervous that it would just have these little clumps of jam that would be very unpleasant. But no, that looks good. Lastly, we top these off with Prosecco or sparkling wine or champagne, whatever you have. All right, I'm gonna try it. upstairs neighbors. <laughs> then we just top them off with the champagne. Stop. Yes! <laughs> Got it right this time. Can I do it twice? In case you haven't figured it out by now, I am not nor have I ever been a bartender. <laughs> Shall we see how they taste? Ooh, it's very light. It's much lighter than I was expecting, actually. It only has four components to it and they're all very well balanced. So none of them really take over any of the others. I think these would make a fantastic fancy mimosa brunch beverage. Now that I have two Pandaren Plum Wines, Let's go get the Legend of the Brewfather's achievement. As you can see, I haven't even finished this one yet. I just have the first two of the three, but I'm going to show you just how quickly and easy it is to get this achievement. We're even going to put up a stopwatch timer. All right, so assuming we're starting from Oribos, we are going to begin by taking the portal to Stormwind. And from there, of course, going to Pandaland. Can you do this achievement without a flying mount? Yes. Do I recommend it? Not exactly. I mean, you can, but it, just like anything without a flying mount, it's going to take longer.
mount up. And even though one of the brew fathers is in Jade Forest, we're actually going to begin by hopping over to Krasarong Wilds because it's just in this northeast corner here. So head over towards that mountain, just directly, directly, pretty directly west of where you land from the portal. The waypoint for those who are curious is 85.6, 5.6. Oh, that was the last one I needed. I should have ended with that one, but I'm trying to do this efficiently. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're, we're kindred spirits at the moment, him and I. Anyway, okay, so that's number one for you if you're starting from scratch. From there, head off to, we're going back to the Jade Forest, but n more north. We are heading to 37.1 meets 30.2, which is around here. And I'll put the waypoints in the description as well so that you guys can just grab those easily. All right, coming up on the brokenhearted Brewfather. So you see, you can take the steps all the way up here and you can climb the mountain on the first one, it takes a little longer, but it's still doable without flying. And that would have been another notch on the achievement belt. And from there, we head over to Kunlai Summit, where we will head to roughly 44.52. Basically, the peak of the big mountain. <laughs> If you're noticing a theme here, it's the peak of the big mountain in three different zones. So you can even see it from this far away. We're going to be heading right up there. You don't even really need a waypoint. I mean, this is definitely one that you can complete in under 10 minutes. It's just how far under can we get it? Quick little side note, as you're flying over this, there's a whole chain of mountain climbers on their way up, which I think is super cute. Oh, and then one lonely guy over here. <gasps> He's frozen. Okay, that's cute. This is sad. <laughs> and here is the last of the three brew fathers. Congratulations, you should now have your achievement. Under seven minutes. So if you have a long queue for a dungeon or a battleground or a 10 minute break in your raid, then you can come get this achievement and get 10 achievement points. So I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to stop by Twitch Sundays at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Let me know in the comments if you have any cocktails or achievements or other WoW videos that you wanna see me do. Please remember to drink and game responsibly. This has been Tipsy Gaming, I'm Tipsy. Take care.